Hello world, my name is Matt Bonner. I'm a high school student, I'm a speed solver, and I'm a puzzle builder. This beast sitting in front of me is called a Yodaminx. Currently, it's the highest order twisty puzzle ever prototyped. It has an edge length of 88 millimeters, and it weighs almost 2 kilograms. It is seen next to a standard sized basketball. It has 2,943 functioning parts and it is a dodecahedron vert equivalent of a 15 by 15 by 15 cube. The name Yodaminx comes from standard shallow cut face turning dodecahedron name and nomenclature. Minx implies that the puzzle is a face turning dodecahedron, and the prefix Yoda indicates the order of magnitude. The smallest minx is a kilominx. After that is the gig gigaminx, then megaminx, then teraminx, then petaminx, then examinx, then Zetaminx, and then Yodaminx. After Yodaminx is, well, I'm not sure. I believe that's as high as official SI prefixes go. The success of the construction of this puzzle would not have been possible were it not for the brilliant Oscar van Davender. He's been a great inspiration over the years, and he was kind enough to mentor me through the building of the Yodaminx. Given the magnitude of this puzzle, turning quality is quite good. It has not been broken in by any means, so turning will only get better. At the moment, turns are difficult to start, but eventually flow smoothly after they're started. Building the Yoda Minx was a slow process that occurred over the course of four months. I started by designing multiple iterations of a Zeta Minx in SolidWorks. Once I saw how promising the Zetaminx design was, I figured, why not add another layer to make it a Yodaminx? I ended up using a floating anchor mechanism. The concept for this was invented by Oscar van Davender. He suggested I use it for the Yodaminx, and I was really happy in the end that I did. Once I had a good design, I 3D printed the entire puzzle through the awesome 3D printing company Shapeways. I started by dyeing all of the pieces black. After that, I sorted all of the pieces by little shapes I designed on the bottom of each piece. Because of the mechanism used, all of the pieces are incredibly hard to distinguish. After sorting the pieces, I started the long assembly process. After about a month, I managed to assemble the entire Yodaminx. I chose to sticker the puzzle. I glued on each of these stickers individually. After some tensioning, I had myself a, a, fu a functioning Yodaminx. Sometimes people ask me if I plan to, s to solve this. I probably will one day. I believe that it would really improve the turning quality of this puzzle, as it normally does for 3D printed puzzles. Anyone who has 3D printed anything would probably wonder how much this costs to prototype. Well, I used money saved from almost three years to afford this. All in all, this thing costs more than my car. If you're interested in learning more about my Yodaminx, or puzzle building, or me in general, I encourage you to check out my YouTube channel, or the Twisty Puzzle Forum. I posted a link in the description. I'm also posting a video soon on the construction of the Yodaminx. Once that's up, I'll post a video, in, a video link in the description.